Oh, hello. Welcome to my London crib. down on the glass and I hate heights. It's a little unnerving. <laughs> Look at they're walking in their baby in a stroller. Where? Look at the double the bus. at the London Eye. Yes, we're about to go really high in the air and see all of the stuff. Really high in the air. And unfortunately for today, the weather is not the best. It's just really foggy. It's very foggy. But you know what? The London Eye has been so generous to bring us today to kind of see what this attraction is all about. behind us. Yay, London Eye. We just did that and we had a lot of fun. It was definitely a great experience. I loved it. I just wish the weather would have been a little bit better, but you know what? You can't predict those things when you travel, so. No. Roll with the punches. Roll with the punches. I'm about to try the shit chips. Even though I've had it before, they just call it something different. It's just fish and french fries. I'm gonna have fish and chips.
Hello. Welcome to my London crib. In London, we are staying at the Cheval Three Keys, not to be confused with Three Quays, as if Americans would read it. <laughs> because before we got here, we were like, Cheval Three Quays. But it's Keys. Yeah, quickly mistaken. Oops. So let's walk around our lovely hotel apartment and show you where we're staying. So you walk in. This is our foyer. foyer. Perfect for doing. Pirouette. Yes. I didn't stick it right, but yes. This is bathroom number one. How about this, Will? What's behind door number two? A, a washer. washer. And a dryer can be yours if the price is right. Super convenient when traveling because who doesn't like to do laundry before they go home after a long trip? So. Mm -hmm. Now we're walking into our living area, living space in our kitchen. This is the living room as you can see. It's a very nice sectional sofa, as they would say. But the best part about this particular space is that you get this beautiful view of the Tower Bridge. Can you see it or is there a glare? There's a glare, but it's all right. Oh. Well, since there's a glare, let's just go show you in person on the patio. Oh my gosh, it's freezing. Now, our kitchen is like a very, it's a full kitchen. We have everything that we could possibly need. You can cook dinner, you can, I don't know have leftovers, or as they would say in um, the UK, take away. take away. Our refrigerator blends in with the wall. With our takeaway. With our takeaway. Toaster, mm. sink, stove. Um, I don't know what this one is. I think it's a microwave. Is this the microwave? Yeah, I don't know how to open it. <gasps> Wine glasses. Wine and then an oven. And then there's a dishwasher as well. Um, wait. There's also a, ooh. There's also a kitchen table with a great view through the window. Yeah, you it's can been, see everything you need to see. It's been really nice to wake up and enjoy a little breakfast to that view. And I'm definitely gonna miss it. Tonight's our last night in this hotel room, so I'm gonna miss it. It's been so nice. Wait. Do you wanna show them our little guests? Sure. The staff is so nice to give us a little welcome package with little snacks, which have been handy for the road, because I love to eat. We know. <laughs> um, the next Space we're gonna show you is the bedroom with two twin beds. These are for our children. They are not born yet. There we go, bed, bed. Right now it's just for extra storage of our travel oh, yeah. gear. Another nice thing about this room is another patio. Just beyond this building here is actually the Tower of London, which it's so cool to know that this is literally next to what I think the richest history in London. We got to explore it earlier today and it was really cool to go and see what we've been sleeping next to these past few nights. Come out here. It's cold. No, wait, we're gonna walk through. Where are we going? Into our bedroom. Ta-da. <gasps> So this room is our bedroom. It's a big old bed and a lot of space. And we have definitely taken advantage of the space. And the big bed. I look like an angel. We also have these cabinets, or closets that they would say, not cabinets. Um, <laughs> robes and a safe for all your precious jewels, the crown jewels. <laughs> And a nice bathroom with a great shower that I can actually stand in because I'm so tall and I usually can't stand inside these shower. Whoa, what is that? 
Have a shower wand. Shower wand. But that's our bathroom. This is our bedroom. This is our hotel apartment. I think what I've really enjoyed about our stay at Cheval Three Keys is that since we've been here for more than just one night, it's been a very comfortable space to come back to after a long day of just having an adventure exploring the city. I agree. Like in the morning we had, we made breakfast, we ate breakfast and we got ready. And then during the afternoon we would come back and sit on the couch, kind of relax before going out again. And then coming back at night, you just have this whole space to relax, go to sleep. You can use both bathrooms like we did. Oh my God. I also think it's a very functional space for travelers. Just because, again, since it's more than just one night, you have the washer and dryer, you have a full kitchen, you have all these amenities that you probably wouldn't get in a normal, like, hotel, and that's what makes it so comfortable. Yeah. I it's agree. like a home away from home in a lot of aspects. It's definitely which like an apartment. I think makes transitioning from, you know, your daily routine very easy. Yeah, I agree. We have definitely enjoyed our stay here. Like we said, we are really sad to be leaving in the morning, but I have a feeling we'll be back. Oh, 100%. And we will try and come stay here again. I highly recommend it. Now you gotta go, you gotta get out of our hotel, because we gotta go to sleep. We gotta go to sleep because we're off to Edinburgh. Did I say it right? I don't know how to say We'll find out tomorrow when we're there how to really say it right. Okay, get out. Bye.